and we're back. <laughs> uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta season 10, episode 11. T is of the essence. So we <clears throat> we have Kim and Portia. Long story short, Portia wants to have like a little dinner where it's all going to be vegan, but she's not going to tell everybody. <clears throat> and again, Kim has Croy, and Croy's just sitting in the fucking parking lot. Why are they here? <clears throat> so we got Candy Ace and uh, the Candy Coat of Click playing the party for her S's release. They send Portia an invite because, you know, they want her to see what women looks like. On some real shit, I know a lot of people just like, why would she invite her only to be like that? Pretty sure it was production. Pretty sure production, like, nudged her to do it, even though she didn't have to, but I'm pretty sure that's why she did it. <clears throat> Cynthia and Will lunch at Lake Bailey. They talk about dating. She just wants to date. He doesn't want to date multiple women, but he tells her to get out of her system. So we meet Eva. She's with Nini. Nini is, is how Eva's going to get brought into the group. <clears throat> Eva's boo is in ATL, and, you know, she's there now. She wants friends. Mentions that her uh, boo is Michael Sterling running for mayor. Kenya's with her cousin. They're buying fitness equipment for... Well, they're fitness equipment shopping for uh, her boo. Candy's party. Portia is off by her lonesome. <clears throat> She's out of place. Now, even Nene are in the car. Nene mentions Will, but does not say his last name. But all of a sudden, she just know who the fuck Will is. Just know. It's kind of that's kind of fishy. It's kind of fishy. I don't really like it, but it's kind of fishy. And Eva says that you know she knows Will. She knows him, met his girlfriend, but she's unsure about the timetable. Now, he, in a different scene, is talking to Cynthia, saying that he's been single for two and a half years, and they, those who have been dating for three months. I'm, I'm really getting through this fucking review quick, fast, as a motherfucker, her eye line. Peter is there with Marlo. Ty gets him on stage and says, you know, Kim, Court, Croy. Portia, it shows the kind of woman that my wife is, you know, she may not get along with you, but, you know, she does what she does. Candy gives sense, gets up there and says, for those who have taken me to a place I didn't want to go, you help me elevate. And it's just like, that shit was shady as fuck. But, now, for <clears throat> Todd's get up there, Todd, that was, that, was, that was a bitch move, bro. I ain't even gonna fucking lie, that was a bitch move. Forget to get up there and do it. Hey, it's your part. You can shade if you want to. But Ty, probably, you shouldn't have put yourself in that fucking place because it kind of goes back to Candy, you know, <clears throat> using other people as an earpiece because Ty said names. Candy did. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Peter leaves after the speed. And I think the reason that Peter did that is Peter knew that Cynthia was there with her boot. And I think Peter, the whole thing is, I done played this game long enough. Y'all are not going to sit here and use me to, you know, have a fucking scene. So he showed up and he fucking left. I ain't mad at Peter. Nene <clears throat> carries the bone to Candy. Now, all the girls, for the most part, minus Kim, uh, Sheree, and Cynthia. But all the other girls are standing right there. And, and if I didn't say Cynthia, Cynthia. And Kenya, you know, feels that she should let <clears throat> Cynthia know. Nene feels a kind of way because she feels that <clears throat> she should tell Cynthia instead of Kenya because Kenya might get it wrong. And my thing is, she should have just brought it to Cynthia, period, without all the other girls. But you get mad because, like, okay, because you feel that Kenya's going to take your damn spotlight. If you really cared about Cynthia, you would have just brought it straight to her from the rim. So... <clears throat> Eva had said that she only met him once. But in a previous scene, she says that she knows him. Oh, shit. Is my phone going off? Why is my phone going off? My phone is over there. And my phone is going off. I couldn't find she says that she knows. My fucking phone does this shit sometimes, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard it. My phone does this shit sometimes. Anyway. <clears throat> Kenya decides that she wants to talk to Will. Kenya spills the beans to him. Now, Cynthia knows that they are an exclusive, 
but she doesn't want to date him if he has a girlfriend, which is very, very fucking valid. And I can understand it where it's just like, if he's single and it is what it is, what it is but if he had a girlfriend at some point or still has one, she feel a ways. <clears throat> and Will calls over Eva. She's like, oh, well, this is messy. And he's like, well, uh, you are the one that sat here and created this shit. <clears throat> and... You know, it's the whole Eva trying to say that she knows him. He's trying to ask her, how do you know me? And the whole campaign thing comes up. And it's just like with campaigning, you know, we take pictures. You know, I'm sitting here trying to support your dude. That's the only time that you saw me. Now, the thing is, <clears throat> is the question is, the girl that he was with, was that truly his girlfriend? So, do I feel that he was being, you know, dishonest? I do feel he was being dishonest. But at the same exact time, do I feel that Eve was put in 2010? Yes, the fuck she was. Now, did she get the shit popping on her first episode? She sure the fuck did. But do I feel that she was being dishonest as well? Yes, the fuck she was. And then you got Nene saying, oh, well, you should be coming to her like that. <clears throat> on some real shit, yes, the fuck he should. Because now, you're calling somebody's uh, character into question. And the same, now, he did say, if you felt away, why didn't you come talk to me? But at the same exact fucking time. If you felt a way, why the fuck did you carry that bone directly to Cynthia rather than telling it to Nene for Nene to sit here? Because he, all it is is this was a scheme, okay, that Ty set up to come to us with the bullshit. But that's all it was. Cynthia ends it with saying, now, Will left because he was mad. And Cynthia says, if you know anything about my man, tell me. Porsche says she got something to say. That's what episode went off. That's all I got. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm going to see your ass for damn love of hip-hop, which is about to come up in about a good 15 motherfucking seconds.